Hey guys, Brian delivers you the goods here, returning to you for this next uh, TV show review for the season finale for House of the Dragon, season 2, episode 8. That I finally got a chance to watch as of finishing up like 10 minutes ago. So I'm going to discuss what I watched for season 2, episode 8 of House of the Dragon and let you know my thoughts on this episode. So let's dive into the season finale episode 8 review so basically with this whole entire season I gotta say the dialogues were interesting throughout the season but there is one big flaw with this season the season finale is the most boring episode I've watched um like I'll give it credit where it's due the ending was hyping it up to the next season which is going to be an all out war season but my biggest critique with this whole season was the execution like certain episodes didn't fully execute in the way they should have and it became very flat of a season um in this episode the queen who ever was I believe uh, the final episode there's a lot of things that happen in this one at least the dialogue was interesting but the execution was the main thing this one um, with this episode you meet the dragon riders and all that that are soon to be at Rhaenyra's side and then things change for Damon in the final episode of this season like he decides to side with Rhaenyra like surprisingly and then leave me again at your peril is what he, she said afterwards but I just was so bored with this episode that it it's probably the worst of the season um, not, not in a good way. The dialogue was interesting, but I felt very unentertained with this one. Um, and then Christian Cole said we're going to our annihilation, running towards our annihilation in this episode. And then the guy, Thailand, meets with these pirates or whatever that are supposed to secure the stepstones and defend it and yeah next season's gonna be an all-out war I'll tell you that that's what I'm mostly looking forward to the action sequences through this season had some few good points but it's where you see how the episodes turn out they don't turn out very well I'm sorry that's my uh, laptop doing that is going to make that noise in the background just so you're aware but Rhaenyra was planning to get ready for this all out war with Aemon and uh, the ending was surprising because he didn't I didn't expect to see Alicent go to Rhaenyra at the final minutes of the episode and it's suspensing you to the next season which will unfortunately not come out till summer 2026 sometime um because it's gonna take them a little bit of time to get uh to uh making the next season so my unfortunate uh ex critique with this episode is that it was lazy it was boring and it was the most disappointing of this season um the dialogue yes was interesting to watch through but it just didn't fit the pacing was the biggest flop for this one and it dragged it out too long to like an hour and 25 minutes and Allison and Helena are trying to escape from 
Amond and just trying to basically go off on their own and be free from all this war and bloodshed that is soon to be happening in the next season. So, pretty much, there was a lot of things explained about where Damon saw the White Walkers and another Targaryen that's soon to rule in the distant future, which is part of the Game of Thrones series. But, um, I'll admit, this was an episode that really bummed me out. And I was so not looking forward. I was so hoping this episode, to reiterate what I said, would entertain me. But instead, it was the biggest disappointment of the season. So, the season finale was the worst. And I hope that the next season will be a lot better. Sorry about the background noise. That's my firewall thing on my laptop. Um, making that noise. It's going to do it again, of course. So, if I were to give this season its overall fair score, it is going to get a 5 out of 10. I was thinking this was not a good uh, season finale. For episode 8, it's getting a 5 out of 10. For the overall season, 6 out of 10. Like, this season was meh. Um, this was not the best. There were some okay moments through the season. But it's the execution was the main problem with this season. Um, and there were some episodes I was really looking forward to watching through and seeing how they turn out. But, yeah, episode 8 was... The biggest clusterfuck of boredom that I ever felt for an entire uh, season finale. Not a good one. Not a great one. But let's hope season three will entertain me more. Because the action sequences are the best parts of House of the Dragon. And Game of Thrones series and all that. But you gotta make it execute with the dialogue. That is the biggest critique I had with this season. The dialogue was so utterly bad. I mean, the first episode was kind of mid. Not great. But at least it had better dialogue than this boring clusterfuck of a mess of the season finale. For episode 8. So, pretty much 5 out of 10 for episode 8 of season 2 of House of the Dragon. I I probably will own this, but I don't know. I, I'm just unsure right now, because what I watched was so much crap. Yeah, I was so unentertained with this final episode. And it's going to come down to being one of the worst that I've seen for this season. So, 5 out of 10 for Season 2, Episode 8 for this review. Thank you for watching this season finale review.